Hi guys, so today I'm going to get started. I'm just trying out the Anna Griffin birthday box. If I have any links in the description box, they will be affiliate links, which means I will make a small commission if you were to purchase from those links. Um, I just thought it was funny. I was going to show you guys. I had shown you that I was going to make a little stamp of a little girl um, that I had drawn to do like a swatch doll. Um, this is guy, what's his name? Something Burke. I don't know, you know YouTube recommends videos and a lot of times I'm like, okay, you know. Um, but this guy does like really artsy stuff and he's always doing like Disney things and I don't know. So um, he does little swatch dolls and I thought it was kind of cute, but he hand draws them every time and you know, he's very artistic and then colors in with like little, if he's trying out something, he'll swatch it in there. And I thought it was really cute. So I was like, oh, I'll make a little swatch doll, but mine are like crazy looking. And I was going to open up her little tummy here and then that's where I would ink or do whatever and I was just testing her out but now I'm like well she's just kind of cute so I might have to do it again and then make that one a swatch doll and make this one just a little doll that I want to stamp here and there but if you haven't seen the video on how to make your own stamps uh check that out um nothing new but it's just a lot of fun uh just some real quick housekeeping um oh following up on the tonic vintage drops that I showed you guys yesterday in the hall look at that's so pretty because I told you they, they dry matte and I, I, mean, uh, I don't know if I have one around here to show you that's shiny but you know how it drops normally dry but this is really pretty and then that gold spray but anyway so i just want to show you that i have been getting a lot of questions about this one um i you know obviously don't work for hsn i have no idea i don't know anything about anything all i know is the anna griffin finishing school showed up it was not what they had advertised they advertised like a door card and so everyone's falling in love with this because it's the easel card and and you're right like to me if I had known this was in there, I kept it anyway to be delivered. But I think a lot more people probably would have gotten into it because they love the easel cards, right? And then someone said that they, uh, Anna, she remembers Anna saying it's supposed to look like her house. And I do remember that, but then why? I do remember her saying that, <laughs> but it wasn't for this box. So I don't know if this was supposed to have been made for something else. And then something happened with the manufacturing, so they decided to go this with. I, don't, I have no idea. How you get in it, I don't know because it was an auto ship, right? So six months ago, she did the finishing school and ever, and then three months later, there was another box that I skipped. It was more kind of manly looking. And then this is the second box, the auto ship. So sometimes HSN will bring them back. I have no idea um, if they'll do that. I don't know if Anna will bring this to her site because um, I don't think she normally does that with the auto ships. Some other items she might, but um, so I have no idea and I'm very sorry. It's very cute. I was surprised and I'm really happy to have it and hopefully you were able to get on it and just keep an eye out. I don't know. I don't know. I think they brought the original finishing school back. Um, not auto ship, but just, you know, some extras, but, um, you know, I don't know. So I'm very sorry. And I was getting a lot of messages. I even got emails about it. So, um, which I normally don't even check my email, but just so you guys know, um, so yeah, so that's that. So today we'll go through the birthday card making kit. Um, and we'll just put something together. Again, really pretty. It has a to and from. I mean, that would be a nice gift, wouldn't it? This is still available on HSN as far as I've seen. So I guess I'll have the links there. Um, and so basically, and I already opened it up. So if it looks a little bit messed up, it's because of that. But um I'm just going to go through, I'm probably putting this to the side because it's a very big box. And then I'll look at some of these ideas and, you know, we'll put something together. Okay, sorry, I was a little um, weird there at the end <laughs> when I was going to move the box because um, I just remembered I have to do um, giveaway results. So I went to do that really quickly. Okay, so I'm going to put the box top right here just to have something to sit on um, so you can see everything that's in here. And we'll just kind of go through the stuff. Um, again, we have the little uh, sheet there. Idea sheet more than anything or inspiration because it doesn't really tell you any instructions. Lots of um, sentiments from have a fabulous birthday, wish big, with all the best wishes, with love on your birthday, best birthday wishes, different sizes and shapes with the gold foil. These are so cute. I had seen the little like birthday hat and stuff. Really sweet, very princess looking, but um, so it's kind of fun, but more traditional still. And then this one's just like a little banner, I guess, or... Oh, no, it's a gift. Yeah, I was like looking at it this way. I thought we could put a few bits, a gift. Another little gift there. Oh, the balloons are so pretty. I love that. A little cake, more hats in different colors, some champagne, little cupcakes, all kinds of stuff. Oh, this one's so adorable. So cute. So lots of pretty... Uh, layered stickers, I suppose. Um, her flowers, again, these are probably also layered up. Let me see. 
So normally, whenever I buy things like this from Anna, it's a pack like this and maybe some sentiments from the end. It's like 20, 25 bucks, so not bad, I suppose, if you're an Anna Griffin gal, you know, that kind of pricing there. Those are pretty. And there's a lot of them, so that's kind of what struck me. That's kind of why I was mentioning the little kits that you buy on their site, um, you know, here and there. Uh, okay, so I was kind of interested in this because in the picture they have some die cuts, but the ones in the picture I think are bigger than this. But this is nice that some of these are already cut, so you don't even have to pull out your machine. Lots of different things. Oh, look at the little stars. Pretty cool. Um, lots and lots of kind of die cuts. If I can get this back in this bag, that would be amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, everything kind of just opened up. There's a lot of stuff in here. That's good enough. Um, I would assume these are like topper layers. I don't know. Or maybe just paper to cut if you want. But there's some layered, you know, some papers here. Really pretty. Ooh, gold foil there. I like the different looks of these. This is really pretty. Really soft and gentle. And this cutie stuff over here. There's a few more in there that kind of didn't shuffle through. Um... Okay, this is interesting. So these are the card bases. Really pretty. I mean, you can see the different colors. And, of course, they all have the gold foil. Um, there's some other ones in here. Can't quite see without taking... I guess I'll have to take them off the band. So some of them have foiling. Some just have, like, a gold-looking stamp, but it's not shiny. Really pretty. Lots and lots of different colors. Lots of different things going on here. And I thought those were card blanks. Um, I mean, not card blanks, but like card toppers. And then handmade by on the back so you can sign it. And I believe they're just regular 5x7 cards. Yeah. Sorry, it's getting a little bit tight. Let me back up a little bit. Um, another pack of kind of like toppers. But these are the bigger ones. So again, she kind of takes this kind of thing. And if you had a card... And you would just like, boom, you know, and then put some more layers. And you're pretty much done, right? You can do that. Pop that up. Maybe put little flowers here and there or a couple other extra die cuts. And maybe some of these, um, something fell. What happened? Oh, here. <laughs> I was like, where'd it go? So there's a couple of each one. It's your day. Wishing you a fantastic birth. That's really pretty. Fantastic birthday, hooray, it's your day, special day. So I was thinking, like, a box like this, you just sit down and throw some cards together and have them ready, or uh, maybe make one of each, because it looks like there's two of e each thing. Um, or just make them as you go, right? Because you want to gear it towards a special person. Um, bows that are already tied up for us, and they're really pretty colors. They're just very um, classic. I like this uh, one. Well, I like them both. <laughs> they look pretty together. But I do like that kind of green, the little moss green there. And then, of course, it comes with dimensional adhesives. And then there's lots of gold paper. This is just gold. So you can die cut it. Basically, that's kind of what I'm looking at. Because I was looking at these different things. I know this is from her cut and emboss and folders. Cut and emboss and folders? <laughs> cut and emboss folders that came out recently. Um, if I have some, maybe that's what I'll use. I don't know. Maybe I won't cut. I don't know. I was just kind of trying to stick to what's in here. Um, but pretty much we all have a die cutting machine, right? Some kind of die cutting machine. And then the cream colored uh, envelopes, which I think are really pretty. I like that tone. So I'm going to put this back. I'm going to pick out a few things and just layer it up and make a card. Okay, I well, kind of want to start off with this. So this is a really pretty card base. Oh, and see, there it goes. I thought I had it upside down. And you can orient them however you need to. You know what's funny about these bases is that some of them already have even ribbons attached to them, which is really pretty. Like the one I'm going to be using, hopefully, or like this one. And it's kind of cute. It's just um, a little V of a ribbon attached to the back. Cute idea for any other card, too. Um, I was going to go with one of these guys, but then... I don't know, because... And not that this is neither here nor there, but on the back of this, because the card base that I chose, it has that frame. And when you put it here, it covers up close to the top and not centered down here, and that bothers me, so I'm not going to use that one. Okay, so... Uh, sorry about that. So... <laughs> Of course, my neighbor's dog starts barking. Um, so I'm going to put this on here. I think that's what I like. And then, you know, we still have this. And I was looking at it. You can, you know, layer it more. And I know Anna does a lot of that. People like that. You layer something and you can barely see a little peeking out the back. And actually, it looks kind of nice 
I wasn't really planning on doing that. Um, let me think about that one. Um, and then, you know, you have other ones like this pink piece. It's a little bit smaller, but you can still have it kind of peeking out just here and there. And that, that for me is more of a kind of collage mixed media type thing. Cause you know, why is that there? Just because, right? It's cute. That looks pretty too. We have things like this. <laughs> There's always stuff we can do. I was going to put more flowers. I don't know what I was doing, but see, even something like that. Just a little something, and it just echoes the little gold that's back here. They all look pretty. <laughs> to be honest, I was like, oh, I'm not going to use any of this. But it, it looks really nice. So lots of different pieces. Huh. I'm going to keep these contenders out, because maybe I'm going to use these guys. Oh my gosh, my husband just went on a bike ride, and I have this vent. It makes me laugh, because he goes bike riding with a friend of ours. There's a couple that we hang out with more often than not. And we've been in Monterey together, even though I didn't know them then. My husband knew the husband because um, they're Marines. And then we moved to Georgia and we were living basically on the same block. And right before we moved from there is when I finally met her, the, his wife. Um, because I just keep to myself. Like, that's how I am. That's how they are, too, which is kind of funny. Um, and then, uh, so anyway, now we're in San Marcos and San Diego at the same time, too, because we left Mon uh, Georgia the same time. So, you know, and then they have kids, kind of our kids' age. But um, he is going to go on his bike ride, and he got in his car. So I went there, I'm like, so I call him, like, where are you going? Because he just, he just rides from here. He's like, oh, I'm going to go on a ride with Cat and Nate. No, oh, well, isn't that fun? Having friends, you know, <laughs> with my friends, basically. <laughs> my friend that I haven't seen in months because of social distancing. He's like, well, we're going to be socially distant. I'm like, whatever, just go. And he's like, I told you to come. I don't bike ride. So I'm like, no, he wanted me to go yesterday just to hang out with them because he had to get something done on his bike that um, Nate was going to help him with. I'm like, I'm not going to go there because the kids like to hang out. I'm not going to bring the kids. So, like, I'm not going to go and do fun things when the kids can't leave the house, you know? Anyway, uh, so I was looking at this. So, yeah, he's out there. Gonna be a third wheel is what I'm gonna tell him when he gets home. I like to joke with him and mess with him that way. Um, okay, so there's a champagne flute here. So, remember that little champagne? I thought that would be cute to put on here. So, that's what I'm gonna do. But, um, again, let's see what else. You know, there's the little bows. I don't know that that would go anywhere on this one. There's also the sheets, um, these pieces. Again, you can die cut these and stuff, but if you look, they do fit kind of behind. Uh, obviously, the one I picked has, like, a frame on the inside, but not all of them do. But you can put that there and then build up from there. But since it already has a little bit of decoration, I'm not going to use that, but really cute. So, looking at all these things, it still looks a little plain to me. So, maybe... Maybe it's too much gold. Maybe not enough gold. Maybe I need that pink. Maybe I need some of the pretty flowers. Let's see here. Da, da, da. Maybe that's a little bit too much. I'm trying to see in the camera. Hmm. If they had one larger like that, but not gold, that'd be nice. But I don't see it. Other than that little pink piece, right? Okay, I thought he was coming back. My husband will do that too. I wait until he's gone, gone to actually make the video because he will come right back and say he forgot something. Uh, let's see. No, that's weird. Unless we use both pink pieces. Unless... Let me see. How do I want to use this? If I put this back here... Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this in half. That way I don't have to use both of them and whatever's hidden in the back isn't seen anyway. Let's cut right down. And this might be a horrible idea, but we never know. I just want a little bit more of the pink in the background. Yep, all right, that's what we'll do. And then that gold piece on top. And it was just too much gold. Again, we still have the... You know, pick out. We have a top. Uh, what? Well, actually, already has half a special birthday. But you can also top that too. It doesn't have to be flat like that. You can take like this best birthday wishes and put it right in that same spot. Um, so you can cover that up if you wanted something more dimensional on that. And then we have all the little flowers, you know. But I think that's all I'm going to do for this one. And. Okay. So it takes a little minute to kind of decide what I would like. If I'm going to pop that up a little bit. I'm just trying to see where this should be. Yeah, like about those corners. Okay. So I'm going to stick these down flat. You don't really have to glue down the whole thing if you like a little movement, but I'm just going to put a little something. And basically just put them in these corners. Like here. So yeah, I'll put this one up here. 
So anyway, I just thought that was funny. I'm like, where are you going? Why are you driving away? Oh, you're gonna go hang, hang out with our friends. Okay. Sounds fun. All right, let's see here. What well, is fun, but fun for him. So <laughs> it'll definitely be fun. I'm just, he's like, come on. I'm like, oh yeah, let me, let me go and gear up. You guys, if you know me at all, I don't exercise. Not even in the least. I used to get like the worst grades in PE and I did the bare minimum to try to get an A obviously because I was an A student, you know. But um, so at the beginning of the year, I remember in high school, it'd be like, okay, how fast do you run a, a mile? And you had to just improve that by the end of the year. And I would be like a 20 minute mile. So I can do like 18 minutes and yay, I still got my A because I improved. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Good times. Okay, I'm gonna put all those down and then I'm gonna remove all the little backings and I'll be right back. So again, simple, quick. Um, it's hard for me to tell if this is supposed to be like this. This thing up here, I just realized that's throwing me off. I guess it's supposed to just stick out like that. That seems odd. I had it like this and I was happy with that. Huh. Let me look at this inspiration sheet and see if they used it at all. Because now that... Yeah, see? Okay. They do have this straight and this is kind of out there. Yeah, perfect. And see what they did with it? They had the die cut in the back and then some other things. Okay, that's what I thought. It just seemed odd. But I thought, well, maybe it's supposed to look collage kind of like thrown in here. Kind of whimsical, which we like. I'll put that right there. And then I had this little guy, but now... Yeah, I'll just put him down here, right? It doesn't have to be like set up square. I guess I could just sit him here if I wanted to. I kind of feel like he's, eh, yeah, I guess it could be like that. Okay, and this is what I do every time. I forget that these are stickers, but what I'm gonna do with this one, I'm gonna leave that bottom part. I'm gonna take the top part off because the top part can touch this. And since we already gave this some dimension, we need um, some dimension on here. So I'm just gonna put some dimensional adhesive down towards the bottom. And I'd put a couple more than that, but for right now, for times, save some time. We're just going to do this. And I'll put that down here. Okay, so it sticks there, but it also sticks to here. Quick, easy, effective, really pretty. And I guess, I, you know, this box, what it's lent me to see is, or led me to see is um, the layering. It's like, you do want to put more layers. <laughs> it was kind of fun. I know normally I'm always like, eh, I don't like putting so many layers and then covering them up. As long as you can see them, I have no problem with that. I, you know, I don't like when <laughs> she puts something down and then puts something else. And it's like, I don't even see that, but the, what was in behind there anymore. Unless I guess you really look at it. And I guess that's for a person to be like, oh, look at all this, you know, and then they really examine the card. But I would like to see the layers be visible, right? So there it is. Uh, quick, easy, pretty. I think it's cute and pretty effective there. And um, so I'll have the links for you guys. And um, now that I look at it, I might move this up a little bit just to get closer to that. But okay, again, I'm nitpicking. Okay, sorry, now. I forgot to All mention. Right. I will do the Christmas box. I know it's Christmas and we're in August now, but um, now that we're in August, we're gearing towards Christmas, right? And it's not just Christmas in July. So I will go over it. It's basically the same kind of thing. You just layer up and have a, a fun time with that. But I will uh, do that one soon, okay? So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.